Let's get ready to game. We've got a roundup of gaming devices, including a monitor, mouse, and speakers. Something like so-called a Neptor. Uh, that's what this is. We'll find out what it does. And is it? It doesn't make any sense to have a special kind of computer for senior citizens. I'll take a look at the Wow computer. It's time to watch before you buy. Netcasts you love from people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for Before You Buy is brought to you by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. Before You Buy is brought to you by Harry's. For guys who want a great shave experience for a fraction of what you're paying now, go to harrys.com. Get $5 off your first purchase by entering the offer code before you buy when you check out. And by Nature Box, where you can order great tasting healthy snacks delivered right to your door. Forget the vending machine and get in shape with healthy, delicious treats like whole wheat lemon figgy bars. Mm -mm. To get 50% off your first box, go to naturebox.com slash twit. That's naturebox.com slash twit. Bum, 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 bum. Welcome to Before You Buy, the Twit Product Review Show, where we get uh, products people are interested in finding out more about and give them to our staff so they can give you a, a review of what it's like to use it in real-world conditions. We're going to kick things off with Chad Johnson, the host of OMG Craft. He's a gamer, and we gave him three, not one, not two, but three different gaming devices to try out. Chad? Hello, my name is Chad. I'm with Twit and Before You Buy, and today I'm reviewing three different gaming products. First is a monitor by AOC. Next is a mouse by Rockat. And finally is a, a speaker system, a 2.1 speaker system by GX Gaming. Let's go ahead and start off with the monitor. This monitor is a 24-inch uh, 1080p monitor. It uh, has a 144 hertz refresh rate. This is a twisted pneumatic film uh, LCD, which means that LED, sorry, which means uh, that it's not an IPS display. Many people understand what an IPS display is. This is twisted pneumatic film. Uh, that means that it will have a faster response time, but it will not give you the same viewing angles that an IPS display will give you. One of my favorite things about this monitor is the stand. It has an adjustable height and tilt, so if you want to easily make this tilt for document viewing, you easily can. It is a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, so it feels very tall when it's fully tilted. Uh, the base also swivels easily. There's a plate uh, on, the, on this, the bottom portion of the stand, which allows it to swivel back and forth very easily. Uh, the menu system is pretty easy. It uh, comes up from the bottom here. Uh, you can switch between settings. I it has a small animation. Menu system uh, was, was really good. Uh, and then uh, it also has different modes, uh, or it does has uh, four different inputs. It has DVI, HDMI, DisplayPort, and uh, VGA. Another feature that it has, which I really, really loved, was it is a USB hub. It has two USB ports on the side. One of them is powered. And then on the bottom of the monitor, there's also two USB ports. Right now, my, my uh, keyboard and mouse are plugged into those ports, so you can kind of see where they line up on the monitor. Because of the LED backlighting, it was very bright. This is an incredibly bright monitor. Uh, in fact, uh, I basically couldn't look at it if it was dark in the room. I had to turn on extra lights, otherwise my eyes would just be blinded. Uh, it also has a 144 refresh rate and they claim a one millisecond lag time. Uh, now, we didn't quite have equipment to review that in studio, but uh, digitalversus.com did a review of the lag time, and they found that uh, in their testing, there was an average of 8.5 millisecond lag time between switching from black and white. That's how uh, they test that. We're going to save the pros and cons for later on in the review, kind of like a refresher course on all the products. Now moving on to the mouse. This is the Rockat uh, Kavu, Kava, Kova mouse. They have very interesting names uh, for their mice. Uh, this is a gaming mouse and one of the, the nicest features about it is that it is both left and right handed. 
Uh, this can go up to 30 to 100 DPI, uh, which is a very, very high DPI range for um, a gaming mouse, and that's expected. Some of the features that it has is it has uh, up to seven different buttons on the mouse. It has two over here, two over here. Of course, your normal uh, two buttons right here, that brings it up to six, and then your middle click button as well. Uh, this mouse supports a feature called Easy Shift, and I didn't think I would love this feature right off the beginning, but I actually found out I used it all the time. So what is Easy Shift? Well, this button right here is your Easy Shift button, and whenever you have it pressed down, all the other buttons can do something uh, while you're, you are in-game, or even in a browser, just, just uh, browsing around. So, as an example, if I click the Easy Shift button now, and I scroll the mouse wheel up and down, this will actually change the volume of my computer while I'm not in a game. So here, uh, I'm just, I've been browsing Reddit. If I hold down the e Easy Shift button and left-click, it will go back, and so I can go back to the front page, or if I right-click, it will go forward. I didn't think that I would love this feature. I absolutely adore it. Also, in four places around the mouse, uh, there are the RGB LEDs. So you can see it sort of flashing. It goes through a cycle if I haven't selected a color uh, with the driver. I tested this on my home computer, so I don't have the driver loaded up on this Windows 8 machine uh, here, but at home at my Windows 7 machine, um, I do, and you can choose specific colors. Uh, it will switch colors once you do Easy Shift mode, so that's kind of an easy indicator of when you have switched into Easy Shift. Um, but it, it, if there's no set color, it will just cycle through a few, which is kind of a nice uh, looking thing. The outside of the mouse has sort of a soft touch feel to it, especially around, along the sides right here. These grips, you can kind of see how my finger, uh, it does grip very, very well, uh, especially right here. Then this is a sort of slick plastic. The whole mouse is of plastic construction. Uh, along the bottom, there is either a sticker or a little piece of metal around the image sensor. <laughs> and I found that I have two cats and I got cat hair in here all the time and I'd have to rip it out uh, every once in a while. So I kind of found that uh, for my situation was a little bit of a bummer. Moving on to the speakers. Uh, these are GX Gaming speakers. Uh, this is a 2.1 uh, well, setup, not surround sound. Uh, two being you have uh, left and right, and one point one being that you have a subwoofer. Uh, this uses a normal uh, 3.5 millimeter jack to plug into the back of your computer, and then it plugs into this controller. Now this controller might seem big, but I really love the functionality that this included. You have a really nice volume knob on the front, as well as an independent bass knob. And this does respect the volume, so if you have your bass, bass cranked all the way up, you're not just going to get really loud bass even though the volume might be turned down. It does respect the volume knob, which I really liked. You also have a standby button, which seems a little bit redundant because you also have a power button on the back of the device. You have a power toggle right here, uh, so that seemed pretty redundant. You can see the back uh, of this. You have your inputs, and then you have your outputs. You get just a, a sim sing single RCA for each left right speaker, and then another uh, black RCA for the subwoofer. And then I used uh, the left right uh, RCA for the computer. And then this is another auxiliary input uh, right here, which you can plug into, say, a phone or maybe another stereo system if you want to route it over. On the front, you also have a headphone mic and another auxiliary in. Uh, so you have a total of three inputs into this little base station here. How do you switch between the inputs? Well, that's the, the last button here, this source. And you can easily switch blue. The blue LED stand is for basically the uh, RCA connector. The green is for the line in on the back. And the orange is for the line in on the front. If this gets confusing to you, they've made it a little bit simpler because the included wires sort of match what the color of the LED is. This is as close as the orange as I could get. If I switch back to uh, blue, uh, there isn't a, a blue, well there is actually, a, you could either use this blue cable so you could flip it around. Uh, I did it the other way so that it is close to green and so it kind of matches so I can keep my cords and my colors uh, in the right order. 
As far as how does it sound? Well, it sounds really well. Everything was crisp and clear. Uh, I was a little bit worried when I was listening to Skype audio that things were a little bit muddy, but I never found that it was ununderstandable at any point in time. I have a little bit of music that I can play from my phone. Let me switch sources and uh, we can listen to a little bit. And then also take a, take a look at this sub while we're doing that because it will, uh, there's a LED light in there that will light up any time that the sub gets going big time. I really, that's really, really useful. <laughs> Okay, time for the pros and cons. Let's go ahead and start off with the monitor. On the pro side, uh, the motion and lag time I found was pretty great, even even though 8.5 milliseconds a cut. You will never notice that, especially when playing on a multiplayer game. Also, I really love this stand. The, the swivel, the height adjustment, uh, the fact that it could tilt all the way over, the stand was a really nice feature. And finally, the USB hub, was really great having uh, four extra USB ports uh, right in on the monitor. On the cons, uh, the fact that other monitors in this category do uh, have 3D support and this one does not was a little bit of a bummer. And then also those speakers were really, really crap. So definitely don't use the speakers on this monitor. Next, for the Rawcat mouse, uh, on the pros, I like that it was left and right handed. So for uh, both types of gamers. The uh, RGB LEDs uh, were really nice and that uh, that shift, three, two, and that easy shift button I found that I really, really enjoyed. On the cons, it's a little bit light and the the finish would get a, did get a little bit tarnished uh, after a while. Normally with just rubbing it down with, uh, with a cleaner, got rid of most of it, but uh, there is still a little bit of tarnish after doing that. Now, moving on to the speakers from GX Gaming. On the pros, I really like that it would take from multiple sources. There are wall mounts on the back of the, uh, of the two speakers, which is really, really nice. And I like that the sub lit up with that LED as gimmicky as it is. For the cons, the jacks on the front and back of the base station felt very cheap. And I almost needed two hands to unplug, to, to re-plug in something it just it feels really really cheap and difficult to use and there's no um there's no anti-slip uh feeding on the side of these speakers so i found that they would get bumped around on my desk an awful lot even even if uh, i had them close to my mouse they could get sort of pushed around a bit by just moving um moving my mouse around so, buy, try, don't buy for these three gaming peripherals. Starting off with the monitor, this comes in at a price of $269.99 online. MSRP is a little bit higher. Uh, I'm going to give this one a buy. Um, I really liked the extra features of the USB. Um, I didn't find that the lag time significantly impacted anything. 8.5 milliseconds was, was just fine for me. Um, I liked all the features except for the speakers in the back. Moving on to the Rockcat mouse, I'm going to give this one a buy. Uh, it only costs uh, $40, $39.99, and the Easy Shift was a feature that I am sorely going to miss on other mouse mice. Uh, I found that my, it, the button placement was perfect for my thumb and I could easily use that Easy Shift button. Finally, with the speakers from uh, GX Gaming, I'm going to give these guys a try, mostly because of the feel. They feel just a little bit light and uh, a little bit inexpensive. They come in at $100, although that's not that bad of a price for speakers. So um, I'm giving this one a try, just because I, didn't, I don't feel 100% about these guys after living them with, with them for a few weeks. But some really nice features with the different sources that you can use. And that about wraps it up for these three gaming peripherals. I've been Chad Johnson for Twit and Before You Buy. See you next time. A buy, buy, and a try. Thank you, Chad Johnson. Chad hosts OMG Craft, our show all about gaming, about uh, Minecraft on this network, and of course produces many of my best shows. And 
is now the host of a brand new show called Read It Up with Sarah Lane, all about Reddit. I just I was doing a little reading while Chad was doing reviewing uh, on how to shave. Here's a little secret: your facial hair grows differently from everyone else's. So introduce your hands to your face and get acquainted with your beard. Sorry, Tanya, you don't have to do this. And it will come in handy later. Your facial hair is as coarse as copper wire. So sweet-talking it into submission is time well spent. Soften your beard with warm water. Squeeze a quarter-sized dollop of shaving cream onto your fingers and massage it into your beard to soften while you whisper a love sonnet optional. Now that you know your face is like the back of your hand, now you know your face like the back of your hand. It's time to get to work. Start shaving with the grain and stay with it everywhere. Then, if you want to visit a level of smoothness reminiscent of you in the fourth grade, go lightly against the grain or get a time machine. <laughs> Gently splash cold water in your face. Pat dry with a nice fluffy towel. We're pretty sure you're going to look great, but please refrain from whistling at yourself or winking. Confident smiles are permitted. That's the Harry's Shave Guide that came with my Harry's Shave Kit. This is the Winston. Harry's was founded uh, by um, Andy and Jeff, who knew there was a better way than going down to the local drugstore, finding a clerk and getting them to unlock the high-priced razor blades. Those, those fusion blades, the other blades, they are so expensive, they're actually locked up at the drugstore now. Can you believe that? And really, they're overpriced. Uh, you can get a great razor and a great shave for a lot less with Harry's, H-A-R-R-Y-S dot com. Uh, these, Jeff and, uh, Jeff of Jeff and Andy was actually one of the co-founders of uh, Warby Parker. And in a similar situation, a, a business that was dominated by kind of a monopolistic couple of companies who overcharged. And, uh, and just like a Warby Parker, Harry's has come along to give us another Way this is shipped direct to your door. This is a be this is the beautiful uh, Winston razor. You can get it engraved with your name. This is for Father's Day. What a great gift this would be! And it comes with Harry's shave cream. And if you've heard Steve Gibson wax on and on about this, he just raves about it. Smell that? Doesn't that smell good? It's yeah, got a little menthol. It actually does. And it's and it smooths your skin beautifully. So you can put it on. Like that. <laughs> what? Well, I just thought I'd be. Nice and clean shave for the show. And then uh, Harry's Blades, these are five-blade razors, made in their own factory in Germany. I didn't even use any water, and I'm getting a fabulous, fabulous shave. Look at that. Mm. Yeah. Look at that. Does it, you know what? It actually, it'll turn shaving into something you look forward to. Go ahead. Just touch it right there. Ding! That is, that is great. Harry's is a perfect gift for dad this Father's Day or your grad this June. They even have a father and son shave, shave kit. Now, this is kind of fun. That orange one has no blade. So it's for a oh. little son to shave with dad safely. Oh, that's so oh, cute. There's Sam. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to have to rent me a kid. Anyway, harrys.com. You'll get $5 off your first order if you use the offer code before you buy a great shave at a fraction of the price. We love Harry's. I feel like it's reinvented shaving for me. Harry's.com. The offer code is before you buy, and you'll be supporting Harry's, and Harry's is supporting our show. Thank you, Harry's. You can get that little guide to shaving. See, look at that. Smooth. That's like a fourth grader right there. Tanya, <laughs> Tanya Hall is here. She is the host of Marketing Mavericks. Boy, is that a great show. Thank you. I listen, what is it, Tuesday morning, Monday morning? It's Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning. Very uh, early. It is. How early? 8.30? Yes. I listen every morning. I should know. You should know. And it's awesome. Thank you. Yeah, you had the uh, the CMO of Overstock.com on last week. Actually, I had the, the CEO of Overstock. He's the CEO? CEO. He was great. I, I loved what he said. So feisty. Good feisty. Yeah, feisty is a good word. Fascinating show for people who are interested in how companies are using the internet and social media to mm -hmm. market and to think about how they do their business and stuff. And we, we just are so glad you came along and Thank you. Uh, joined us uh, just a few months ago. We also gave you something very attractive. What color is that? 
Okay, so they say so. This is the um, the Nectar fifty six hundred milliamp uh, lithium polymer uh, battery. Okay, and um, they do come in a variety of colors. You've been talking about the colors, so we can start there. It does come in a variety of colors. This is, is actually that pink. It it kind of is. They it's, say it's purple. That would be the only thing I would kind of um, purple pink say about that. It, yeah. it it just they do list it as pink. The other the other other colors are red and green and blue and orange. And so this is the one that I have. the The cord here is actually kind of interesting. It's actually flat, which I actually really oh, like. Oh, I like that because you don't get they don't yes. get tangled when they're flat like that. Exactly. Yeah. Um it's it's actually got it's five ounces, so it's not very heavy. It's got two charging points. And if you can see those right this there. Is, this here I'll hold it for you. This is Thank the because you. you're you, you're talking. I'll hold <laughs> this is a very crowded category really. Um and uh <coughs> I wanted to know I mean, besides the color what's different so one, it's actually very similar to um, its competitors, except in price. We'll get to that. Um, it's got two charging points. So it's got one that's a one amp. It's got a two point one amp. So for like for oh, tablets, that's good. So you could charge an mm -hmm. iPad on that. Exactly. Um, it's it, it doesn't have an AC adapter, which I would actually really like. Um, but it does have a. So you I, charge it with a USB cable, but it's the same cable. You just plug it in the other side. Yeah. To charge it. Mm -hmm. um, one of the. One of the features is this um, this light right here. If you can see that, it's got a flashlight built in. It's a little flashlight. It's an LED light. Uh, I don't think Did it's I working. I turn it on, and there's the. Um, we'll have to hit do it twice. So there's the. Um, the I just turned it back off. I say I've got to be smarter than the battery. That's there how many. Go. That's how many. It's how charged it it's is. It's just showing you it's yeah. charged, right? And there is the flashlight, which you know I don't know that there's a huge purpose for that except maybe let me, let me in the middle try of the night. It, see if it's blinding. No, I'm looking right into it. <laughs> but you could, you know what this is good for? Finding your way to the bathroom in a hotel room. Finding your way to the bathroom. That's what I need that for. Exactly. Yeah. Or maybe a keyhole. Um, like I guess I do like this You shouldn't cord. pee in keyholes, I've, I found. <laughs> Stick with the bathroom. <laughs> oh, you mean to like unlock the door? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Um, it's, uh, what I found is it took me about an hour to charge my phone when my phone ran uh, completely down. So it didn't take that long. Mm -hmm. Um, it did take about five hours to actually recharge this once it went down. So it does take a little bit of time to do that. And you can turn this off pretty quick. Um, it also has a place for a lanyard. So it's kind of small. <laughs> I don't know how you, why you would use that. But, um, I'm not going to wear my battery around my neck, but thank you. <laughs> I'm glad I can if I should choose to. Yeah, exactly. Or maybe around your wrist or something. Yeah. But, you know, actually this design is probably one of the things I like the most because it really fits nicely in your pocket. and Or if you're out hiking or something and your phone runs dead or maybe you forgot to charge it. This is How really many milliamp hours did you say? Um, That's it's, the key. How much? Yeah, yeah. So it says it's got um, 500 charges and it also says it's got, I think, I think they claim... Um, How many milliamp hours? That's all that matters. It says uh, 5,600 uh, Okay, milliamp. so it's a, that's a small battery. Right. Okay. So they did have a bigger one. So, so you could charge ones. a Galaxy S4 two and a half times. Yes. Actually, it was about twice, I think is what yeah, I thought. Yeah, twice is more so. likely, yeah. So the pros are um, it's design. Um, I guess I like the yeah, it's fit. It's pretty. It's, um, it's flexible cable, and it's got two charging points. Um, the cons are it's recharge time. I thought it took a long time to recharge it. And there's no AC adapter. I would really like that. Um, so there's my... How much? It's actually listed at fifty dollars, but I found it cheaper. I found it at like thirty-four, and its competitor, which is almost the exact same thing, is around roughly seventy-nine dollars. No, no, there's lots in that category. So that's actually overpriced. So, well, so you're gonna say buy, don't buy, or try? You liked it. I said it was pretty. A buy. Yeah, I think it's a little overpriced for what it's because that's not a lot of milliamp hours. You can get twelve thousand for that price. Don't you want more milliamp hours for your dollar? I do. <laughs> I do want more milliamp hours. Neptor, N E P T O R, and it's a buy from Tanya. There is there is one con that I didn't list. What's that? Like in the middle of the night, if you are grabbing for this, you don't want to accidentally. It's a more of a personal con. You don't want to actually grab this. What is that? Is that your taser? That is my taser. <laughs> Give me that. <laughs> I mean, are you have a pink taser? <laughs> Don't judge me. Go Leo. ahead, tase me. No, I will not. And I wouldn't anyway. But I've been. Wait a minute, is that actually a taser? Now you're scaring me. Yeah. How many milliamp hours does this have? I you have, could actually, I, you could charge your phone with this. This is called the smack. Wow. <laughs> I heard a no coming. Yeah. Well, she knows what I'm about to do. <gasps> Don't do it. 
Right, just right Don't against the it. cheek. I'm gonna just see. No, no, no. Compare no. the Harry's shave to the Taser no, shave. No, no, no. No, all right. <laughs> so that's more of a personal con. You just don't want to, you know, accidentally. Don't accidentally grab your taser that's if all you're I'm grabbing saying, for I... your uh, Neptor instead. Right. The Neptor, is it like the Neptor 3000? No, it's not. Does it have a name? It's not that sexy. It should. It should. Thank you, Tanya Hall. Tanya Hall hosts oh, Marketing Mavericks, and you did such a good job. <laughs> I feel like Pavlov here. You deserve a snack. Would you like Big Island pineapple rings? Hmm. Coffee kettle popcorn. I had this this morning. Lisa says that one's really good. It's very good. Although, don't eschew the cocoa waffle wafers. Oh, I like those. Nope. You can't oh. have them. Sour. <laughs> <laughs> Do you oh, remember what I just oh, showed you, Lisa? Okay, she's got a taser and she's not afraid to use it. <laughs> this is our Lisa. Nature Box. We love Nature Box. Uh, you get delicious snacks, healthy snacks, delivered right to your door every month. Choose from three different box sizes. And you can, now I recommend you choose the kind of the wild card. Just, you know, give me an assortment. But you can narrow it down. If, for instance, you're vegan, they have vegan snacks. If you're gluten conscious, they have gluten conscious snacks. That kind of thing. You can also choose from salty, spicy, and savory um, I am a, or, I'm sorry, sweet, spicy, or savory. I don't know where I got salty from. <laughs> These are, though, delicious snacks. Nutritionist approved. No HFCs ever, never. No GMOs. No. They don't have any, uh, any uh, trans fats in them. Zero artificial sweeteners or flavors. Just delicious stuff. You get the uh, three, six, or 12-month subscription for that someone special in your family. It'd be another great Father's Day gift or gra grads. You know, if you're going off to school, if somebody just graduated from high school and they're going off to college, mm -hmm. a nature box, it's like love coming to your door once a month. It's like your mama just hugging you, saying, <laughs> I love you, I miss you. Have a nature box. Naturebox.com. You can try it out for 50% off your first box when you use our offer code TWIT. No, no, you can, you can keep that. But you wouldn't let me have the popcorn. <clears throat> Which one do you really want? Let us let me think about so it. So this is kettle corn, and then mixed in, it's not all the way through it, mixed in, there is coffee-infused popcorn. This is fabulous. This is one of the reasons I'm a little feisty today is because I had a whole bag of that. You're always feisty. Well, you what must you... eat a lot of Nature Box. Oh, man. this Now, Lisa says the Big Island She likes those, too, yeah. We ordered a whole box of these. We liked them so much. Those are uh, those sourdough, sourdough cheddar pretzels. I you only get say... to pick one. I've been told oh. I cannot eat two snacks. I've done that before. <laughs> Which one you would you like? You just anyway. You get to pick one. <laughs> or yourself. You get to pick one. I'll pick this one. Really? Cocoa waffle wafers? I don't know. What do you think? Or coffee kettle popcorn. You see, get a whole box. That way you get a choice. Naturebox.com. Please use the offer code TWIT. And now we're going to put this away until next time. No peeking where I put it. So, uh, I mean, you might, you might even remember this. A couple, maybe a month or two ago, somebody called the radio show and said, I, I have an 81-year-old mother, uh, as I do, and I want to get her a computer. She had an iPad. It was too hard for her to use. She has arthritis. And I saw this computer, it was at firststreetonline.com, uh, called The Wow. And I and it was a, it's over 1000 bucks. I think it was 1200 bucks at the time. And I, at first, my first reaction was, no, don't get that. We've seen computers for seniors before, and they were never very good. But as I looked at the specs uh, during the call, I realized, you know, this may not be so bad. So we contacted the manufacturer. They're called Telekin, T-E-L-I-K-I-N. They also sell The Wow directly from their site as the Telekin computer for seniors. Um, and we got one. And now this is $1,079. It, uh, geeks are gonna say, oh, it's a Celeron processor, two gigs of RAM, 500 gig hard drive. It's not very powerful, 22 inch screen. But actually, as I play with it and uh, read about it, I got more and more excited about it. It comes, it's very simple. It comes with a CD and DVD player that's, that's built into the side. Uh, USB keyboard and mouse, and then you plug it into the wall. It has Wi-Fi, and I've connected it to our Wi-Fi network. This is the startup screen, although the first time you run it, by the way, this is a touch screen, so let me just tap the help button. The first time you run it, you're going to get a, a video that is an introduction to the computer. A nice young lady comes on and explains the computer to you, and then anytime you want to know more about what the computer can do, you'll see there's all these different, oh, I restarted the video by touching, but there's all these different um, uh, videos and text that you can read. So it's really designed to be easy for somebody who's not only not computer literate, perhaps a little bit afraid uh, of the uh, computer. So let me close this. The touch screen is kind of cool, although 
I have to say, now this, you may say, well, what is, what is it? Is it Windows? It's not Windows. It's a, a version of Linux running on here, and I really wasn't able to figure out what version. Because the shell on top of it, you can't get out of, which is good. You want that. Uh, there's, there's a couple of things that are, uh, it does have speakers, a surround sound. It has external microphone and speaker ports, HDMI, SD card reader. It's a fairly, com you know, complete hardware computer. These are the speakers down here. In fact, I'll, I'll play it a little bit for you so you can hear what it sounds like. Let me... Let me play the uh, CD player. I've got a little opera in there. I don't know how well you can hear it. This is as loud as it goes. But if you're sitting next to the computer, that's okay. The sound quality is decent, but again, if you want better speakers, you can connect it out to the speakers. It has video chat, and what's interesting... Oh, let, let me stop the... Let me, let me stop the player here. There we go. Uh, it has a video chat. This is Skype, so I can make a Skype call. Email... Remember, this is Linux, so it's a it's a real email program, uh, presumably some Linux program with a shell on top of it. Photos, which is great. You can uh, get pictures of the kids on here. Um, it'll even go into a slideshow as a screensaver mode, or I can just press the slideshow button. Uh, it does, the mouse does work, too, by the way. Notice how big the pointer is. You can change that size, but that's a good thing for people who might have a little difficulty seeing the screen. Uh, complete calendar, contacts. Weather, and it knows where you are automatically. It gives you weather maps. You can enter another location. So if you want to know how the family's doing somewhere else. News, too. And you can change these news settings. I have it set to Fox News, but it could be AP, CNN, ESPN, if grandpa likes sports or grandma likes sports. Um, and we can click on a story, just tap on it, and it'll pull the story up. Uh, it's fairly snappy given the Celeron processor. Full web browser, too. Here's the Telekin uh, website. Now, here's another nice feature. Uh, seniors might appreciate the magnifying glass. I just tap on it and I can make something a lot bigger. In fact, I can probably make it big enough so that somebody who has real vision problems can probably see pretty, pretty well. Um, also, it comes with games. I've got Mahjong here. In fact, it has a pretty complete, let's uh, get out of this, and pretty complete set of apps. Now, here's the key. You can't install new apps. So it does what it does. It does have a spreadsheet and a word processor. Um, it focuses on email, of course, uh, video chat, which is great, news, and so forth. Um, I, I have to say, I, I found this very friendly, very easy to use. The videos are great. and has some other nice features. You can assign a tech buddy. I love this idea that lets you uh, find somebody who is going to be uh, able to access your computer remotely. You nominate them and give them a password. And you can also say, I want unacknowledged, I mean, unattended computer support. You can check that. So your tech buddy can actually get in there and fix your computer from another system. So that's nice if you're a grandson or a daughter giving this computer to an elder. You can actually help them with a the computer. I do that with my mom all the time. That's a really nice feature. It does print, but only to HP printers, although Telekin offers a $39 HP printer. So that's that's probably fine. Um uh, you can see uh, information about it. The free space is 415 gigs as it comes out of the box. That's plenty. Lots of space. It even has, if you pay for the VIP support, which is $10 a month, you get great support plus backup, built-in off-site backup. You does have a USB, a couple of USB ports, so you can hook up an external drive and back it up locally without paying for it. But I think for inexperienced users, 10 bucks a month is not a bad thing. Uh, I have it hooked up to our home Wi-Fi. You will need to get access to a Wi-Fi uh, for uh, your family member. Um, let me turn the sound up. You know what? I don't think I had it all the way up. So let's go back now to our CD and see see how it sounds now. By the way, oh, actually better than that. Let me play some uh, a, a YouTube video. How about that? YouTube.com slash before you buy. It does support YouTube, plays the video very nicely in, in the YouTube player. Uh, I have to say, I, I'm pretty impressed by this. $1,079 for the touchscreen version. They have a smaller 18-inch screen without touch for less. Let's play one of our uh, one of our videos and see how it sounds. It's able to keep up. Looks pretty good. You can play back video DVDs as well. So if mom and dad have movies they want to watch. This is Flash, so it supports Flash. I think pretty good. 
So let me give you the pros and cons. On, on the pro side, this is easy to use and secure. Mom and dad can't get into any trouble. They can't download and install malware. They can't accidentally do something and get uh, locked up. I found it fairly easy to use. These big buttons uh, are pretty clear. They have photo editing software. I can rotate, crop, remove red eye. I think a lot of the things, even non-seniors, a lot of things just normal people want to do are automatically built into it. But remember, you can't add anything more. Updates are provided directly from Telekin. Uh, they do have a Kindle reader in here, which I think my mom particularly would like. Um, it's a good screen. Not a fast processor, but a decent enough processor to do what you want it to do. So all in all, it does what it promises. Uh, those are all pros. There are a couple of cons. Um, I, You know, f you can't, it's a touch screen, but the web browser on the touch screen isn't designed. That's a Linux problem. It's not designed. So I'm just moving the pointer around. I think people get used to that pretty quickly. And of course, it does fully support the mouse. Also, unaccountably, even though there's no Windows on this, it comes with a Windows keyboard. So you're going to have a Windows key and a menu key. That, that don't really do anything. And maybe this is a little bit more complicated keyboard than I'd like to see. Here's the good news. There's lots of uh, uh, third-party keyboards. It's a standard USB keyboard you could add with bigger keys, easier to read, and maybe less confusing uh, things. You know, what's NumLock? What's print screen sys request? Those things don't make a lot of sense for somebody who's not a computer wizard. Uh, the price is also, I guess, a negative. 1079 bucks is expensive. But remember, you're getting... Uh, support, you're getting features, you're getting something that's designed specifically for a, an unsophisticated user, a senior in particular. I have to say, I'm very impressed with this. And I'm going to definitely say, if you can afford it, it's a buy. This would be a computer that you could give a, an elderly parent or grandparent, and I think they would get an awful lot out of it without be, being too confused. And the ability for you to get in here and remote service it, and remote support it, or pay 10 bucks a month and give them the superior service the VIP service that Telekin offers is great. Telekin has been send, selling this computer for a couple of years. They've been around for a while. They're not a fly-by-night company. Um, and, uh, you know, you, you're not out anything if they go out of business. You just won't be able to use the VIP support. So you may be stuck uh, supporting them. But uh, I have so no reason to think that they aren't going to do well. This is a great idea. So pricey, but I have to say, if you can afford it, it's a definite buy on the Telekin computer for seniors. And that wraps up this edition of Before You Buy. I want to thank you, Tanya Hall, for doing your review and not tasing me. You're welcome, but I still have it. <laughs> I'll be nice. Keep the snack, please. Okay. By all means. Chad Johnson, too. And, of course, Tanya and Karsten Bondi, who produced the show. Thank you for doing a great job. Thank you for watching. You can see the entire show at twit.tv slash BYB. We also put it on YouTube. In fact, we put individual reviews, as you saw, on YouTube. So if you want to know just one thing or share maybe a review of this computer with your mom or your dad and say, you think you'd be interested in this? You can do that at youtube.com slash before you buy. Email us at byb at twit.tv if there's something you'd like to see reviewed. Thanks for joining us. I'll see you next time. And remember, you got to watch before you buy. See you later.